Hello. Uh, today I would like to talk to you about water. Surprise, surprise. Uh, water for coffee. Um, I've become known somewhat as a bit of the water guy, uh, which is absolutely fine. I love water and I love coffee, so it's great. Um, it's all based around a project that started around three to four years ago with a chemist called Christopher H. Hendon. Uh, Chris was based in Bath at the time near our shop and is now working as a professor of chemistry in Eugene in America. The question was one that uh, everybody in coffee I think it had. Everybody knew water was important. They knew that the same coffee with different waters was almost unrecognisable. And the question behind the research was trying to find out exactly why, trying to <clears throat> piece that puzzle together. Um, we worked on an academic paper called The Role of Dissolved Cations in Coffee Extraction. Uh, and this was published in an American academic journal. We then brought this together with other research and theories and concepts to create the book Water for Coffee. This has gone out around the world and it's been amazing, uh, an amazing project to be involved in. Uh, the coffee community is so good at sharing ideas, at doing their own research, at exploring concepts. Uh, and we'd like to do some more of that with you, if you don't mind. Uh, we'd like to utilise uh, everybody around the world who's interested in this topic to do a very simple little test on their tap water. They may already have done it. And the goal is to map global tap water. Uh, there's two reasons behind this. One. It's just very interesting. Uh, we'd love to know a more detailed map around the world. Uh, not, I mean, <clears throat> there's different uh, utility services that will tell you a water spec, but we specifically would like to know the things we're interested in for coffee, the metal ion content and the bicarbonate content. You'll need a simple little titration test kit to do this. Uh, you should see everything you need to fill out on the form when you click through on the link. Uh, also, if you do have an ionic conductivity meter, uh, we'd like that reading as well, please. Uh, we will share all of this information once we're done. Uh, in some, we'll work our best to make it a, a communicatable little map of some kind. But there's also a second reason um, or a second use of this uh, information, which is at Colonna, uh, which is separate to Water for Coffee, wants to work with the Water for Coffee project. And at Colonna, what we would like to do is to create a water product to make coffee taste better in people's homes. Um, there's no doubt that water is one of the hardest things to fix for a home brewer. We talk about everything they can do, the grinder they can get, the methods, and the water is still a problem. We rely heavily often on encouraging people to use some kind of bottled water, uh, which is nearly always a compromise, and there's the waste of the bottle. And cafes have much better technology than people at home. So even though cafes can improve their technology and there's more we can do there, there's so much we can do with water in people's homes for brewing coffee. Uh, and we hope to launch the Kalana Water Project uh, next year at the London Coffee Festival in April. Excellent. So I'd like to thank you for your time. And if you do fill out the, uh, the form for us, I'd like to thank you twice for your time. Uh, I really look forward to receiving as much of this information as possible, bringing it together and sharing it with you again.